We did that last time. I ain't got no tea, sis. Huh? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> We are back again. Yes, it's been a while. This has been the longest month of the whole year. I'm gonna be real real. This month has been kind of the worst giant fart in the 2020s. We're getting through it. It's almost over. Hopefully January brings some new things. Hopefully. <laughs> Today's video, I thought um, I would just play around with some makeup. We could talk and just and just see how everyone's doing. Just chit chat. Um, I already did my eyebrows off camera because I don't have anything new to try for for the brows. So oh, it's already cold. So we're gonna be doing like a blue themed eye look today, and I'm gonna be trying the On Cloud Blue uh, new ColourPop palette. They released this at the Black Friday sale, and I was really kind of just buy it because I don't own a blue eyeshadow palette, and I didn't want to buy like um. Like I think Juvia's Place came out with like this really pretty uh, palette and it's majority of it is blues but I'm just like I don't wear blues enough to justify buying such a large palette so something like this was perfect for me. So this, these are some of the shades here. It's very just soft like baby shower-esque <laughs> blues but I don't know. I think they're really pretty. I think they'll make for a good eye look and the clouds remind me of Toy Story. Um, so we're gonna be doing that today. I went ahead and like I said did my brows already so we can just go ahead and jump right into the eye look here. Um, so I don't really know how I want to approach this. I've never done a blue eyeshadow before. I'm kind of thinking more towards the deeper blues because we want to go. I want to go take some pictures of this afterward. I don't know if I my whole fit I got going on today. I don't want to have like goth aesthetic and then uh, you know baby blue, baby boy vibe eyes. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just see. I have cleaned none of my brushes. It's been a while, so I'm just gonna wipe them off on this old paper towel I have and hope for the best. Um, so I think I'm gonna just get started here and we'll just talk, alright? Okay. That could have been better. How's everybody been? I hope everyone's doing better than I have this month. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been kind of just one of those years. I think for a lot of people, you know, I'm not, nothing special, but it's been just kind of a freaking like one thing after another, I feel like this year, but this month especially has just been really hard. I don't know if it's just one last good razor scooter to the shin to end 2020, but that's kind of what it feels like. Um, I'm not going to really get into detail, but uh, long story short, our neighbors are psychotic, so we now have nest security cameras um had to get that but kind of dealing with that uh, whole thing um pro tip if you're ever buying a house um i would highly consider taking both your neighbors to lunch to get to know each other before you buy just for next for next time um yeah so i don't know we've just been kind of dealing with a lot of that and then just you know mental health stuff which is awesome love being anxious and depressed it's the best love it for me um but as of right now i'm kind of just we're doing a little better i'm in a good headspace so i really wanted to film because i'll be honest filming is is very therapeutic to me doing makeup feeling pretty because i haven't done makeup in so long and i'm tired of looking at myself and seeing just a potato with eyes it's depressing it's even more just another thing so we're gonna, you know, film today, just do some makeup, and then go take some pictures, and then I'm very excited. So, I gotta say, I was a little skeptical about the blues because they kind of look like they're gonna be chalky, but so far, this is blending out really nice, and it's very, very soft, and it's very pretty. Um, so yeah, how's life been for everybody else? I hope everyone's doing good. Um, end of the year kind of brings a lot of hectic things, especially for, you know, everybody. <laughs> Um, but right now, I'll be honest, like, work has just been running me ragged, freaking working nonstop. Like, we're so short staffed, so many assistants are out with either exposed to COVID, have COVID, whatever. But life goes on for everybody else, unfortunately, and it doesn't mean that the busyness of working in a corporation style company slows down at all. It's like, it's just as crazy and it's honestly been really wearing on me and I'm just 
there's been times where you just wake up and you just start crying because you're so exhausted and so stressed out and sometimes it just feels like it's too much but then you gotta get up and just go and it's it's hard so i have a couple days off uh next week and i'm so thankful for it because i have so much that i need to take care of and to do and to handle so i'm very thankful for that it's gonna be nice to just not have to be at work for a couple days <laughs> makeup has you know i feel like it's such a waste because i bought all this makeup to try and i just it's been sitting here and i just look at it oh jeez all this makeup to try and it's just sitting on my vanity i'm just looking at it just like yeah like i should really use you but i'm too sad but now i'm honestly really happy to be wearing makeup because i don't know yeah so i'm just taking the shade um bright eyed it's um right in the middle row and i'm just Kind of just blowing this out all over my lid here and kind of making that my face shadow. It's very blendable. You can build it up and then just blend out the edges, which I quite like. It's very pretty. So far, so good. Yes. Let's see what else has been going on? Not much. But yeah, so I don't know. I've just been just honestly just trying to get through. This is not so fresh. Um, just trying to just get through, if I'm honest. It's just been kind of like. Like, if I seem a little off today, I'm still kind of just recovering through the trauma that these last two weeks have been. But, you know, my wonderful husband has really been there for me and all of his family has. So it's just been, it's been nice, it's been encouraging, but it doesn't mean that you're going to always be, you know, the best. But um, thankful to have family around, especially in times like this. Like, I think it's something that people tend to take for granted. And then, I don't know, I really appreciate it. And this is kind of going down a dark, sad path. So we're gonna go ahead and change this subject. Hello Fresh. You guys tried it before? I actually ordered it for a week. Um, not sponsored at all. I was honestly just genuinely curious. I, I really wanted to try it. And uh, I got like a, a subscription for it because they had a good, again, sale for Black Friday. So I, I got a, a week of it. And I, I started filming a video about it, talking about it, trying the recipes and stuff. But if I'm honest, I kind of just gave up because, like I said, this week is this month, this week, this week too. But this month has kind of just sucked. So I honestly kind of just gave up on that. We've been eating the meal stuff, delicious. But I haven't been filming it the way I wanted to. So I think I'm gonna get another, uh, another week of it, and then honestly give it another shot to try it again and to film about it because. I had so many ideas in mind that I wanted to do for that, so I don't, don't want to give up on that dream quite yet. <laughs> I love cooking so much, so it's really like, for me, a working lady, it's nice to come home and not have to think about what like, what I have to get, you know, get prepared for dinner. Everything's just there and ready for you, and that's honestly been the biggest time saver, especially when you leave work to get to work at 6. You know, you leave at 6.30, you get home at 6.30. The last thing you want to do is figure out, okay, am I making, am I making uh, macaroni or... You know, what am I making? What am I making? That's all I macaroni? It's probably the easiest thing to make. So far, icy. Mm. In a weird mood today. I just don't feel like myself. I just I don't know. I'm also just really enjoying being home for once because I feel like I haven't I live at my job sometimes. Oh my gosh. So can I just share a little like to my own horn here? I love TikTok. I probably mentioned that before. Absolutely freaking love TikTok so 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 much. It's been way too much time on that app. But I do post a few TikToks here and there. And um, I posted one. It was like just like a you know kind of like one of those trends and everyone kind of posts their own version of it. So I did one of, of like making this face. And it got like 14,000 likes. What do I? How do you handle fame? It was kind of just trippy because like all these people were commenting and everyone was so friendly. They were honestly, TikTok's community has to be one of the, I feel, maybe I'm just not, because I'm not a big creator or whatever on there. I honestly feel that TikTok has to be one of the most, um, I don't know. It's just like a very good sense of community on that app. And everyone's, most for the most part, some people roast each other, but it's kind of funny. Um. Everyone's just for the most part very kind and very funny and the comments they leave like I don't know I was just god I was cracking up at some of the comments that were left in my video But it was just kind of like remind like reminded me that I don't know like in a time in this kind of world like Laughter and like enjoying little things and little dumb memes like Not having to think about all the crap that's going on in the world is 
so refreshing and it's just like just i don't know laughing at stuff it's just so nice so far this is very nice i've only used two eyeshadows from this palette i used bright eyed and true blue so it's these two shades in the middle here these two that's all i've used so far and i think like that's pretty much all i want to do i might deepen it up just a little bit but i quite like it yes okay Yeah, but let me just, can we talk about just psycho neighbors for, for a second here? Gosh, dang. And the thing about this neighbor is he doesn't even live there. He rents out the house, but he himself is a freaking nut job. And it's just the worst. And I just, I don't get, with everything going on in the world, I mean, it's just like, how do you, how are you such a horrible person? <laughs> like, there's so many bigger issues. And it's just like, oh, leave, leave us working folk that are just trying to, live in and or peaceful neighbors alone like i really don't get what people gotta just harass all the time it's so annoying i gotta say security cameras are very very nice it is so i've never had them before we got the nest the two like security cameras that we have like a ring or the nest doorbell cam as well and it is so nice i never really like because we never we don't live in a bad neighborhood it's actually a very family oriented city that i live in it's very small very low crime but you know it's very nice to have like that extra those extra eyes on your property like while you're away from home you know because it just makes you feel like a sense of security like yeah like people can still break in they can do whatever but like you have everything on video if things are documented and just and you can check on your animals or whatever um and it's very very comforting i find myself checking out at work periodically it notifies you if there's movement or if you, if you hear people talking and you can you know look at your cameras on your like on the app for your phone and just check on things and it's really nice because you know my husband is working from home so he's home all day thankfully so you know we're not like pretty much someone is always at the house but you know if we both had the effort to go back to work it's nice knowing that we have basically some coverage it's, i think this is pretty much it for the eyes here, I'm gonna add a little bit one of these shimmers because ugh, ColourPop's shimmer formula is lovely. So I think, um, so far, so good. I got the Fade Into Hue palette from ColourPop as well, but I think I'm gonna save that for another video. But with that bundle, I did get a roll of um, ge their gel eyeliners, which I tried one on another video that, like I said, that was I didn't end up uploading, and I really like the formula. It's a super cute roll. It's all these different colors of eyeliners here. They're all like rainbowed, but I feel like you can wear these with a lot of different looks. So there's two shades here that are kind of on the more bluer side. I think I'm gonna go with, with this one here. It's in the shade Prance. Prance? I want Prance. It sounds fun. Um, so I'm gonna go with that one probably on my waterline after I do the rest of my makeup. But so far, this palette, I'll have fallout is honestly really really nice it blended really pretty i was really just trying to go for a, a fun like eye look today ironic because the rest of my outfit is black and white but you know do a little concealer on my lid here and then put some shimmer on so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i really feel like now is the time to truly master your makeup skills and like try new outfits and everything at home because like you're not really going out i mean you could still like obviously get dressed up and look nice but now is the time to like hone in on your skills. So when you go back out into the world and you leave your cave and your friends see you and you're just like, girl, who is she? I want that. I want people to see me again and be like, who is she? That ain't Paige. I do this really bad thing where I get home from work and like I should eat dinner, but I'm still kind of full from the lunch I had. So instead of eating like a nice dinner, like steamed veggies and some chicken, I just eat a whole bag of Cheetos. Gosh, I'm honestly really feeling this. I was a little worried to be honest because I was like, a blue eyeshadow, who am I? Like an 80s, 80s mom? But I'm... You can tell this is a green eyeshadow look I did like three weeks ago. And um, I don't clean my brushes. But I'm just gonna take a packer brush here. I might get another one because this one's a little stained. Um, and go in with the shade Clear Skies. It's the shimmer right at the top right here. It's quite pretty. It's very icy. So we're gonna go in with that shade and then call it done for the eyes for now until we go back and stuff. I got some new foundation I wanna try as well. So I'm quite excited for that. I said these pans are kind of loose. I'm trying to press in the shade that's kind of like jiggling around a little bit. You probably, I just don't want them to fall out. Achoo! 
Achoo. Oh. Color pop. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Is that Billy Eilish song? Eyelash? Billy Billy Eilish. Doesn't she have a song called Ocean Eyes? I hear Ocean Eyes, I just think of Ocean Man, like the song from the SpongeBob movie. <laughs> I wanna be Ocean Man Eyes. You know, I had little faith going into this video. I was like, I ain't feeling it today. I'm kind of just kind of when I woke up, but I'm so glad I decided to crawl out of bed, be, get in the shower and be like, you know what Paige, you're gonna wear some makeup and you're gonna like it. And that's what's gonna happen. And I'm really glad it happened because I feel cute. Ooh, oh, I got so down. Oh, I'm getting excited. Oh, this, this is what's worth it. This is why I wake up in the morning and say, I'm gonna wear my makeup because products like this exist. This is gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> I'm speechless. Honestly, I kind of just slept on this palette. I got it because it honestly it was kind of an impulse buy. I was kind of like, oh, I'll get it because it's a new release. I got that one and I got the, the pink one too. It's like the air spun. It's like the cotton candy pink thing palette because my goal is like, I don't want a bunch of huge palettes of like one color. I really like ColourPop's formula. I want to have pretty much every color of eyeshadow, but I don't want a huge thing of it. These are super cute. They're travel friendly, they're compact. And honestly, this is so much fun. And there's so much room for ColourPop to keep expanding on this, um, this like idea. Oh, I'm just so happy right now. Wow. I wish my eyes were actually this color, but my brother, his eyes are like actually this color blue. And I'm just like, thanks for taking all the good jeans. Appreciate it. I can't stop messing with it just because I'm just so like, wow. This is, I don't remember the last time I felt this way about an eyelet look. I don't know. This is lovely. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Okay. On cloud blue. That is lovely. Okay. This is um, the long comb tinted doll ultra wear um, foundation. When I got this, um, it's really hard because I, I don't really have the time or it's, you know, it's not really necessary to be going into makeup stores to order or to buy products, um, trying to limit exposure and all that. So I've been buying a lot of everything I, I bought online um, that I'm using. So um, I did the best to pick out a shade. I did, I think Sephora, did I buy this on Sephora? No, I bought it on Ulta's website because Ulta had it on sale for like 35 bucks. Um, but Sephora has a really good shade finder where basically you put in a shade that you're already using from a foundation you already have into the shade finder and they'll be like, oh, this shade for you. So this is the one that they said would work best for me. When I pulled it out of the box, I'll be real real. This looked like the water that's in sour cream when you open it. It looked very, very pale and I was like, okay, I'm white, but I don't know about this. And then I did try it on my cheek and I was like, okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and be using this today. I'm just gonna, I don't like putting it stuff on my back of my hand because I hate the way foundation feels on my hands. So I'm just gonna squirt it on my face. So I'm gonna just start with like, like two or three pumps. Ooh, it kinda smells like the paint section at Home Depot, which I kinda like. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way, not in a chemical way, like in a, yeah, you know, you know the smell. So you kinda think, Paige, that ain't your shade. But hold on. Let me just blend it out. <laughs> I think once it's really unfair to judge a foundation when you first put it on because you put so you forget how much products you put on top of your foundation. Like, let's be real. You put concealer, that's a whole other shade. You put that on top, you do your powder, you do your baking, whatever. Then you do your blush, your contour, your setting powder, whatever. And then it's like, does it even matter that you're wearing foundation? Because <laughs> you basically cover it up. You're just giving your skin like a nice base and like, yes, does it have to match? Of course. But can it be off like a shade or two? Probably, it'll probably be fine. I would rather be a shade, I think too light than a shade too dark because you can drag things into your neck and kind of make it work. But if you have a shade too dark, it's like, is that a mask? I have this like lip treatment. Um, it's a, my, probably one of my favorite lip treatments. It's like this Hawaiian brand, Hanalei. This is like a sample size I got off Ipsy, but it's this really, really good lip treatment. So I, I try to put that on before I do my makeup and then when I go to bed at night because it makes your lips as smooth as a baby's bottom. Shimmy. Shimmy's just patrolling. He's kind of the best dog ever. Don't mean to brag. But everybody says like, my dog's the cutest dog. My dog's the best dog. And you know, you may think that, but um, have you seen my dog? 
honestly, all dogs are precious to their own owners in their own way. And who am I to say that my dog's better than anyone else's, but um, my dog is. It's kind of like when people have babies, they're like, not gonna lie, like, you know, all babies are cute, but my baby's the cutest. And it's like, okay, but your baby looks like a foot. That's what puberty's for, and that's what growing is for, because you go from foot baby to foot adult. <laughs> well, I just dropped that. Nice page. That's what you get for making fun of infants. I got two English Bulldogs, um, Greasy and Mochi. I'll try to put a picture up here. Um, Greasy is our youngest. Um, we also think he was a runt because he's very small. He's almost a year and he's itty bitty. <laughs> but um, he's really sweet, kind of, he's, he's scared of the things that you wouldn't think dogs would be scared of and afraid of literally nothing, if that makes any sense. Like, we had this guy walking down our street one day and we were outside doing like some yard work, whatever, and Greasy was just like just sitting there. And this guy is walking down with his dog and he has this big old pit, super friendly pit, but it's it's a pit, it's a big dog compared to Greasy. And this fool just, and just walks down the street like, like, like nothing. And he just walks with his dog and this dog's like, the frick? And Greasy's just like, what's up? Not even scared of this dog. And this dog towers over him. He's not even scared of it. Well, we put a box fan in the hallway because they burnt some toast and then it was setting off the fire alarm. Big long story. And he would not walk into that hallway for a good week because that fan was there. He's a weird dog, we love him. So that's Greasy. Mochi is just the biggest, chubbiest little ball of love. She's so cute. She spits everywhere because she, you know, she's in a little abomination as all bulldogs are, but we love them nonetheless. And she's so sweet. She's just, she, meet, she has the best intentions, but she just, you know, bulldogs are stinky. I think any bulldog owner will probably vouch for me when I say that. They can be stinky, but they have the most love and they're such good dogs and they're so friendly and they're honestly really good with kids and pretty much all people and all dogs. They're just very, very sweet. I say bulldogs, but we have English bulldogs. So the little squatty ones. And then Sherm, we already know that is my son. That is my heart. I love that dog so much. He a little story about Sherm. So when we, me and my hubby got married, we lived in this tiny little house. Um, it was kind of like an add-on house that a friend of a friend rents out to people. It was a bedroom, um, a little living room, a kitchen, and then one bathroom. It was this tiny little house. When I moved out of my, my family home, you know, I we had like the family dogs and stuff, but I never had like my dog, like my animal, like this was mine. And fast forward to like May, I was just like, God, I want a dog so bad. Like I just wanted a dog. We tried getting a cat, but then we found out Timmy was severely allergic. So we had to end up rehoming the cat. Um, but I was just like, I wanted a dog so bad and I couldn't get over it. Like, I just, I wanted an, I just love animals. I grew up with animals and I wanted a dog so, so, so bad. And one of the dogs that I always wanted was a Chow Lab mix because one of a very dear family member of ours had this beautiful, he was this golden boy. He had the longest hair. He was, he had a thyroid condition, so he was really fat, but they gave him like medicine and stuff. But he was this big old dog. He was so cute. He had everything people love about labs, but with like a chow face, like that really squishy face. He was the best. His name was Jack and I loved him so much. Um, and ever since I saw that dog, I was like, I just, I want a chow lab. I want a chow lab. That's like, that was like my dog. And I was looking on Craigslist one day because I kept asking Timmy to get a dog. Timmy kind of talked out with the owner a little bit and he was okay with us getting a dog as long as it wasn't anything aggressive or like super big. So, you know, at the time we, we weren't going to be there long term. So I was like, I think I can get a puppy, you know, of this type of dog and it would be fine. So I'm looking on Craigslist and I come across this ad. If I, if I find it, I'll put it up here. Of this little bitty, it was a, a, a blonde one and a black one. And I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh. And it was a Chow Lab mix. And it was like, and they were in uh, the city that they were living in. It was like probably like an hour and 20 minutes away from where we're living. And I was like, oh my gosh, I think I was off work that day. Cause I remember just, I was at home just scouring the internet for puppies and, and for this type of dog. I was just looking all day. I've been looking for a couple, like probably a good week at this point for the right one. And then I come across this ad and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is him. This is the dog that I need. This is a chow lab. He's adorable and he's close by they weren't they were only asking I think like 250 bucks um and they ended up giving it to a, him to us for like 200 bucks so it was like was, you know for me not a bad deal for a lifelong companion so I was like yes 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 so Timmy bless his heart gets home from work he commutes like an hour I text him like babe I found the dog and he's available like can we please go get him tonight so he drives all the way home and then we have to jump in the car and drive all the way back down the hill to go get this dog and I honestly 
he is not what they advertise. <laughs> I mean, I'll show you pictures. He's he honestly looks like he's lab lab corgi or lab wiener dog, but I could not care less. He is my best friend. When I say it, when I mean that this dog is, is the love of my life, he is the best dog I've ever had. He's so good to everybody. He loves everybody, but like, like he knows the sound of my car when I pull up in the driveway. He knows when it's me when I'm home because anybody else couldn't. He just like looks and he's like whatever. But when it's I'm coming home, he knows. He freaks out. He gets so excited. He is just the best boy. When I'm having a bad day and I'm crying, he's nuzzling his head in between my you know hands and my face to try to comfort me. He is just the best boy, and I'm so thankful to have him and to have such a good companionship because dogs are such a huge part of our family let's be real they're the best and i don't know i just i love my animals and you can ask anybody that knows me they know that when they associate me they're like oh yeah Peyton sure <laughs> um but yeah i don't know how i got on that topic about dogs but yeah i love my dogs i love them so much so i'm gonna be going back in with that cloud blue palette and the, sh the shade bright eyed and just kind of running that under my waterline and then we're gonna use that um eyeliner and put that in the inner waterline Who are we? Look at us. Well, I never thought I would be one to, to really wear blue eyeshadow. I've never really given it, not that I didn't like it, but I just never gave it like, any thought. Ooh. Wow. We just finished the season of The Mandalorian. The last episode came out last night, and I will not give any spoilers, but I cried. <laughs> I teared up. That was very touching. I love that show. I kind of have a feeling if you watch it, you'll know what I'm talking about, that that's kind of the end. Um, I know they're saying they're coming out with this next season, next Christmas, I think, uh, 2021, but I don't know. I kind of feel like this is kind of it, but honestly, if that was it, it gave you closure and you kind of just like, you were okay with it. That's all I'll say. Colourpop is this thing where they put these very chunky glitters in their eyeshadow palettes. And I know a lot of people have beef with it. Personally, I don't. Um, I get pretty much everything into my eye setting spray, eyeshadow particles, like it's whatever. <gasps> oh no. See, this is what I was talking about. One popped out. It's not broken, but oh, hey, I'm an idiot. They have like these chunky uh, glitters, which I'm like, I don't know. I'm neither here nor there. Do I care if they're in there? No. If they weren't there, would I be sad? Probably not either. But if they're there, I'm probably going to use a little bit of them. So I'm just going to pack a little bit on. They're really, really pretty. But like I said, they are a little chunky, so just be careful. Then a little bit with that. I just want to pop this in a little bit more. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. See, these are already getting on my eyelashes. That's what I'm talking about. You gotta be careful. So now we're gonna be going in with that cream gel liner uh, in the shade Prance. So I'm gonna be putting that into, looks like it might be a little more periwinkle than I thought. So I'm hoping it won't look insane, but um, I guess we'll find out. Wow, these glide on like butter on hot toast. Wow. You look at them and you're like, oh, these are gonna be like, these are gonna hurt. But honestly, when you put them on, I don't know about the staying power of these because it is in your waterline. So, if, you know, they're waterproof or not, I, I would assume they are. But, oh wow, these are really nice. Very minimal tugging. You can barely press it on there and you'll get pigment. So you don't have to be like stabbing your eyeball. Oh wow, okay, that actually, I don't know if you can kind of see up close to me, you can probably zoom that in. That's actually really, really pretty. Oh wow, that added just like the right little touch to it. This is like my first time really wearing the, the gel liners and on, I've heard a lot of good things and now I know why. They're really, really good. I really want this to pop. I think we pop in. Color pop in. <laughs> this is honestly really cool too because I mean, it's small enough to where if you roll it up, you can travel with it or, you know, take it with you. It's not like super bulky, but then you would have all your colors with you so you can do different looks and stuff. This is honestly really pretty. It's teeny. Say hi to me. My hair's not done. I don't care. Show the world how handsome you are. Uh, no, I gotta put myself together. Mm. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. But I put on some eyelashes. This again is the Sweetheart Lashes in the Scarlet. That's like one of my favorites from them. And I honestly, I feel prime rib right now. I feel great. 
Like this is probably the best I've I feel like I've looked at it in a hot minute. This is lovely. I went ahead and did um, my bronzer and everything off camera too because, you know, I just used the Fenty bronzer for that and I've shown that before in previous videos so it's nothing super special. Um, I was gonna curl my hair too but I think I'll just leave it for now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go in with some blush and put that. I think I'm gonna go in with the palette. I might have mentioned it. I did in my last video that I posted that vintage look. I'm using it. It's the Cheek Leaders um, by Benefit blush palette. Um, and I've really been liking this palette, so I'm gonna be using that today. And then I also got a new brush from Ulta Sale. They had a lot of the It Cosmetics uh, face brushes on sale. So I ended up getting, I'm dropping everything, the It Cosmetics uh, blush brush. So I'm using that today and I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna go in the shade, um, we're gonna go in the shade Dandelion and a little bit of California. So it's the two shades, okay. It's the two shades, um, right here on the side. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dip in a little bit of both of those. Oh wow, that shade is pretty. Kind of just mixing that a little bit. It's a very soft glow. I was afraid it was gonna be too sparkly, but that's actually kind of what I was going for today. Mm -mm. You know when I first came on here, I was like, I don't wear blush, blushes for chumps. And now I'm like, why well, I'm a chump? Because I love blush. <laughs> I honestly, I, I think the thing is, is that I didn't have a good blush, so yeah, you're not gonna like bad blush. Now I like it. It's very good. You know what? I think we're gonna go with the Ofra one skin. Oh, man. good choice indeed. Oh. I use, I haven't used an Ofra highlight in a, in a minute. I actually, those are like some of the first like nice highlights that I bought, and this is a nice reminder that the formula is great. I thought it was gonna look more pink on this on this on the face, <laughs> on the skin, but it's actually just very like highlighting and icy. It's very, very pretty. Oh yeah. That's really pretty. Ooh! Well, alright, look at us. Hello! For lips, I had I have to just I'm gonna use this solely for the purpose that I just want to show you guys what I got. Um it's two things from again from ColourPops. Um, Black Friday sale that they had, they just had some really, really good deals. And I just got so much makeup at once and I'm almost kind of overwhelmed, but it's okay because it will get used. <laughs> so I got this little box of lippy pencils. So this is a, so I think it's some of like their best selling, um, like lippy pencils shades. Like it, they're mostly neutrals, which I really appreciate because that's pretty much all I wear anyways. I wanted to get something that I know I would really get um, a lot of use out of. So I, but I also got the lippy pencil, uh, mini ball. And aesthetically, so it comes in this little cup. So you could probably use this for brushes or just whatever. But it comes with all these different lippy pencil shades. So I am, I think I'm gonna go in with one of these today because there's some really nice nudes in here. I want to go with a more nude lip because I don't want to take away from the eye look. So ah, all right. So I got the lipstick on here. I so I went ahead and went uh, lined my lips with the BFF lip liner. That was the shade. And then I went in with actually two different little lipsticks. I went in with the shade um, Parker, and then that was a little bit, just a little bit more on the pinky nude side. So then I just topped it with a little bit of cookie. And honestly, the result is gorgeous. Let me get this mirror out of the way. The result is really, really pretty. It's kind of what I wanted. I'm trying to expand my looks a little bit more. I usually would pull for like a really brown, like taupe nude, but I wanted to kind of go with something that's a little more natural because I really want the focus to be on the eyes today. But with that being said, that's everything that I had to try today. All the new products and makeup and everything. Um, I am so happy with the finished look. The foundation looks great. The blush, the highlight, just the eyes are just like, oh, I just, I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I'm just, I can't wait to go take some pictures of this look. That is pretty much all I have for today, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in um, and watching. Thank you for hanging out today. I really hope you enjoyed today's look. Um, go ahead and check out my social medias down below. Everything's in the description, products I've used, and my social medias, Instagram and Twitter. Um, and then don't forget to hit that like and follow button if you haven't already, and to hit that bell um, to get all notifications for when I post. So thank you guys so much, and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye! Hi! It is a beautiful Saturday morning here. Um, I forgot where I lived. <laughs> Hello friends, it's been a minute. Um, a lot's happened this couple months. Um, couple months, couple weeks, hold on, sorry, over. <clears throat> Hi! Hello! It is so glad to be back here. Please um, ignore my dogs 
uh, tippy tapping in the background. Mochi, please lay down. Mochi, oh my gosh, Timmy! <laughs> So what I'll go ahead and do is just do my eyebrows and stuff off camera like per usual, and then um oh sorry. <laughs> when you take it, when you just are home, you just you forget how when you want you want you just, <laughs> I don't know rambling. Timmy, now the talking cheese is gonna preach to us. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little concealer on my cut crease, cut cut lid. <laughs> Ooh, but I want like just the crispiest onion rings and ranch right now. I keep burping. Oh, okay. I expect it to be hot each time I drink it, and it's never, it's not. So I'm just like, um, oh, I'm not picking my nose. I'm just itching. <laughs> I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. Chicole. Mmm. <laughs> 